So apparently, if you lay down these really pokey things, it does good things for you. Reduces stress, headaches, muscle pain. It might give you energy. China bought this for me for my birthday. I've been afraid of it. They recommend the first time to wear a shirt. As you get used to it, you take your shirt off. Ooh, I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. I don't know, guys. I really, this, this is, uh, I don't know. You do it in a way that's not gonna hurt so bad. Maybe this shirt is too thick because I'm not really feeling much. Oh, I'm starting to feel it now. It definitely hurts on the back of my neck. Ow! Now that's too soft. Thin shirt. Pokey, scratchy on the back of a burning sensation. I wouldn't say it's comfortable. Without a shirt, this is gonna be hard. I'm more scared now. All right, that's 15 minutes. Oh, apparently works on your feet too. That actually feels kind of nice. How about without socks? Significantly more pokey. It also kind of feels nice. Oh yeah, poke me. Go. <laughs> Oh, but now I'm gonna have to put my head where my stinky feet were next time. I just went up to see if it smelled bad and I poked my nose and it hurts. My back is actually a little bit sore today. I am not ready to take my shirt off. Feels kind of good. I feel relaxed and tired now. That could be because I laid on the ground for 10 minutes. If I wake up and my back isn't sore tomorrow, we're doing this shirtless. Okay. Pokey, for sure. Ooh, yeah, okay. And my dog. <laughs> Oh, the laughing makes it hurt more. No, stop it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'll stay right there. Bunny, stay. Bunny, stay. Now I'm trying to relax into it, and that kind of makes it hurt more. It's kind of like getting a tattoo. It's not unbearable pain, but it is constant. Is this healthy? Is this good for me? I don't know. I gotta try to get up. Oh, oh, it's all red. Oh. Feet though. Oh yeah. Let's try that without socks. Mm, no, I can't put my full weight on that. No way. It feels kind of good though. Ooh, I got tingles doing that. And my back just hurts. Like a scrape in many places on my back. This can't be good. This is good. Back didn't really hurt today, so. Ow, 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 ow. I often wonder, am I bleeding? I am getting sleepy which is interesting. Oh boy. It did kind of stop hurting after a little while. Acupuncturing our way to greatness. Supposed to make you feel good? If someone legitimately has back pain, I could see how this might help. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? Not great. Your back looks tense. It's got a bunch of pokey things in it. You got a tense back. What are you, camping? Tense back? Intense. I don't know. <laughs> I like that you attempted the pun. I just wanted to make a joke. Are you gonna try this after me? No. I'm sorry that I did this to you. It's a learning experience. But what's worse is getting up, popping out of my back. Oh no, <laughs> don't say popping out of my back. <laughs> oh. oh, it kind of like pulled with your back a little bit. <laughs> oh, it looks like a constellation. Cool. Ooh, gross. Today, I'm just gonna do it without having the camera on me. So I first laid down for a, like two seconds, it actually felt kind of good like it does on my feet. And then the pain set in. Probably because I wasn't focusing on the camera, I started to notice all the places where I was tense. I relaxed. I was kind of comfortable. Almost forgot that I was being stabbed in the back. Acupressure, pushing up on me, pushing back on me, no man asked for. Okay. You know what it feels like? You know how when someone pokes 400 pencils into your back, that's what it feels like. You know how you take a cheese grater and you jam it in your back? That's what it feels like. Seems worse now, today. What's going on? I think maybe I arched my back weird as I was laying down and then I extended my back ever so slightly and that may have like scratched everything. I don't know. I'm not an acupuncture scientist. Another day, another back stabbing. It actually feels a kind of good at first, but as I relax and then I get stabbed more, and then I don't relax. It's a vicious cycle. I have a toxic relationship with these pokey things. Ada saw this earlier and she said, why is it pokey? And I said, well, some people say that it feels good to lay on it. And she said, I don't like pokey things. It would m cut me and I would have to use a Band-Aid. Smart kid. Like the neck feels like it's gonna puncture the skin at any moment. I try to be punctual, not punctured. The neck, I'm feeling uh, some activity. Some nice, like a uh, little activity. I, I don't know how to describe it. Feels kind of good. I thought we were friends, but you stabbed me in the back. <laughs> like all over it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wheezy Waiter. Not that pleasant, but give it time. Love will find a way, just give it time. I'm gonna pull my shorts up a little bit. A little too stabby on the buttocks. I realize there are people that enjoy this, that it's good, and 
There's people that probably need to do this. I don't mean to yuck anybody's yum. I'm just being honest here. And I don't know that I'm getting a benefit out of it. It is a good exercise in willpower. What is this strange place? It's like a really big room. It's outside, actually. I'm that neighbor walking around with his shirt off. Ah, oh, birds. Don't poop on me. Don't poop on me. That would add a whole new level to this acupressure. Acupoo pressure. Acupoopsure. Acupressure. Scatchu pressure. Scatchu pressure is probably the best one. Hearing the wind and the trees and the birds is nice. Calm down, birds. You're starting to get annoying. That one bird keeps doing the same noise. There it is. Pick a new noise. Once you notice it, this is why you shouldn't pay attention to anything ever. Heck you, poop sure? Did I say that? Or you could combine them all. Scat poop poop shirt. Sure. Then people wouldn't really know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna go do some scat poop poop shirt. Sure. They just think you're going to the bathroom, actually. Ow, ow. I liked being outside quite a bit. Problem is, all I really want to do right now is play the new Zelda. And the outside's just reminding me of Hyrule. The neck still doesn't feel i keep trying to make the neck happen it's just not gonna happen remember that old meme it's amazing how quickly sayings die these days that's probably because the majority of people aren't actually on twitter when i'm on twitter it seems like why am i talking about twitter I suddenly feel very relaxed like extremely relaxed I actually enjoyed that greetings it's time for another episode of pokes in the back outside with outside craig wait a second i'm enjoying this let's try the pokey neck now it's not, uh, great. Heard a noise over there. They're woodland creatures. Are they gonna break into song? That'd be great. Here, you wanna see my POV? Oh, oh, ow! That's pretty much what I see. Except not in 4K. It's like way more K and all around me. More like VR, really. Dare I say, you might be starting to enjoy this, Mr. Benzene. It's slightly uncomfortable, but it's also kind of comfortable. I feel very relaxed. Like a weird massage. All right, today I'm going to try podcast listening. It's the acupressure podcast craze that's going on across the nation. I heard about Rhett and Link's fictional podcast, Ronstadt. The podcast is making me forget about the stabs in the back. Ten minutes is up, and I don't want to stop. Oh! Oh! I was like, what was that behind me? It looked like some weird monster hand reaching up. That's just my chair. Phew. Speaking of podcasts, you'll notice I was wearing Raycons. They are the sponsor of this video. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring. Look, your ears feeling lonely? I got some buds for your ears. These guys are great. These are the fitness buds. I also got the fitness phones. And the everyday phones and buds if you don't want to deal with all that fitness bullshit. I've tried a lot of ways to listen to stuff while running. The ones that are connected by a wire that goes around your neck or the ones with the swoopy over the ears. Eventually, my running juice, sweat, breaks them. Or you gotta deal with paying a lot of money. These cost less. And look, no ear swoopy. Not falling out. Look at that, and I got a big head, a lot of centrifugal force going on. And my running juice don't break them because they're water resistant. Turns out most of my running juice, water. They're the most comfortable, most durable, most affordable earbuds I've tried while running. And while acupressuring, which you know can be an intense activity. You just hold it down a little bit for noise canceling. I can't hear anything you're saying right now. It's really helping me focus because you were just going meh, 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 meh. I've been doing a little meditation going to sleep lately because I'm working on the perfect sleep routine for an upcoming video and these really help. But when I'm running, I want to hear what's going on around me. So I hold it down again and I get awareness mode. So I can hear the things around me while also listening to the things I want to listen to. You know, like the Zelda soundtrack or whatever. And not get hit by cars or eaten by a bear or a small child. I cannot count how many times I've had to run away from a horde of bears because I ran too close because I couldn't hear their snarls and roars. Same goes for small children. Good job, Raycon. I'm glad to have you as a sponsor and to use you in my ear holes. So you can click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash wheezy and use code BOOST and get 20% off and free shipping on your Raycon purchase. Now, Back to acupressure. I missed today, and then yesterday. I felt pretty crappy all day. Correlation is not causation, but could be related. I don't know. I think I like it. I've made a decision. Okay, I didn't mean that to hit something. That's. Oh yeah. Decided to listen to a new audio book. You may have heard of it. It's getting written about. Called, it's called The Great Gatsby. Have you heard of it? Honey, you ruined my Great Gatsby reveal. <laughs> American classic while getting stabbed in the back. Much like Nick Carraway was stabbed in the back by upper class society, from what I remember. I know I said I was done, but I can't quit you, pokey headrest. Okay, I had to cover it up right away. Big deal. We're gonna switch from The Great Gatsby to this great podcast called Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. <laughs> Ah, uh, one of these guys is funny. <laughs> 
kind of enjoyable. There's a possibility that I feel better throughout the day when I do it. I think for people with specific muscle pain, it's definitely worth a try. But I think it's easy to sell this as a thing that works, regardless of whether there's any definitive proof. But it doesn't really hurt you. I mean, it literally does hurt you, but it doesn't seem to have any negative consequences other than that. But it also kind of feels good. So my conclusion, eh, worth a try. I like it more than cold showers. It's been like five minutes and I've been able to lay on this head thing the whole time. I'm growing as a person. Old resilient net Craig, they're gonna call me. And that will be annoying. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the link below for your Raycons. Also, I do a newsletter every Tuesday, Tuesday's Better Newsletter. And I have a Patreon. I do monthly live streams and uh, monthly banjo faces. You just have to subscribe to figure out what those are. Unless you've been watching for many years, then you know. Or I suppose you could search my old videos and find out. Or you can ask AI, whatever. I don't know. Ooh, side neck. That's interesting. Oh, poke in the ear though. See, now I think I might keep doing this. I don't know. I'm going to get up now. This part doesn't always feel so good.